Let's Hunt is a video series with tactics, weapons, locations and other useful tips, always around one particular animal. Good to see you Hunter, the polar bear has been released and it is the first animal in the game that you can only hunt during certain times, during certain events. I will look for them here in White Rhyme Ridge with the 7mm Stambeko and I will also bring my bow, see if I can get one of them with an arrow and of course when you look for them when you are in this area then make sure you bring some first aid kits because they could attack you. When looking at the map we're at Stanforth Refuge uh, and this is a good starting point. We will look for the bears here along the shores on the ice floats. This is a good area where you can look for them quickly. The polar bear roams the shores of White Ram Ridge and will also be on the ice floats that are out in the ocean. And one important thing is you can walk on these ice floats, you can reach the polar bears, they can reach you. But if your scene complexity is set to low, this is what your game is going to look like. With the scene complexity set to low, you can see there's a lot less ice. There is no or very little ice near the shores. There is no way for you to get out onto the floats. And also for the polar bears, it's not possible for them to walk here to the shore. They will have to swim. But if you shot a bear out there, there is no way you can reach it. You cannot get to it. A lot less ice there. Quite a difference. Maybe they will fix this later, maybe they will make a change, but at the release of the polar bear, that's what it is. So make sure your scene complexity is not set to low and you will be fine with the ice floats. Okay, let's get started. You will find the bears either on the floats or also here at the shore. So we can look for tracks. Many times you get surprised, they will come up behind uh, a steep shoreline and uh, can surprise you. You will hear them stomping, you will hear them groaming. And we hear one already. There you go. So let's get a bit closer slowly here, crouching. Of course my tracking level is still very low, my spotting level is low. And EW have certainly made a political decision here. It's a very sensitive topic to release an animal that is protected in the real world. So they've basically dealt with the hot potato by allowing it uh, to be shot during certain times. Uh, but then during other times you cannot shoot it. It's it's protected and it'll be there when you start your hunts, even if it is protected. So you have to be uh, careful. You can always shoot a polar bear when it attacks you. That is true for guests and members. That is true for all times. An attacking bear can always be shot. But if the uh, bear is not released for shooting during those times, it is not possible to shoot it. There is no leaderboards, there is no achievements for the polar bear. Um, again, that this is mostly to, to prevent um, a, a players running after bears, trying to shoot as many as they can, make a lot of uh, trophy shots and, and boast basically with dead polar bears, which is really a sensitive topic. Maybe we can see the bear swimming. The only other animal in the game at this point is the dog who can swim. But not any game, not any huntable animals. So we'll observe it here a little bit. Right now it's been released and for the next uh, two weeks the bear can be shot. So I could, I could uh, pull out my rifle right now and shoot it. There it approaches the water and in it goes. And you can see the outline the bear swimming very nice. It's a little bit like the ibex. When you shoot a polar bear, 
you have to make sure you can reach it. Just shooting it here would give me some trouble. I'm not sure if I could reach it. You can see the floats. There's some gaps in between. And if I cannot reach the bear, I cannot harvest it. Very same as with the ibex. So I have to think about where I'm going to shoot it. I've already completed the missions and it appears a strong animal. It makes noises, as you can see, we just saw it roaring. So even with a strong rifle, you have to place your shots. I've seen bears in statistics going over 500 kilograms. At this point, I don't know what the maximum weight is. It does have a score. So there will be events, hopefully, with competitions where you can actually try and harvest a high scoring bear. Otherwise, the score doesn't matter much. So now we have to plan here. Maybe I can walk there. But the thing is, when I shoot it, if it's not well placed, the bear will run away. And, uh, and maybe, uh, not hopefully, uh, unfortunately end up on a nice float dying there where I could not reach it. So I have to be really careful. I've only seen them so far as solitary animals. I didn't see any groups. And this is what I would expect anyway. That's how they live. They don't live in groups. So this guy doesn't have an interest yet in the mainland here. Well, let's do the following. Let's shoot it. See if we can get, can get to it. And otherwise, we'll learn <laughs> what not to do. Hmm. Where is it going to go? Oh, it died from the first shot. There it is. I must have hit the lungs at least. Now let's plan our walk there. Just going to mark it here quickly. If we're lucky, we can get onto the ice floats here. Make sure you do, do not end up in the water or you will die. There is no way out of the water. At least I haven't figured it out yet. So you will freeze to death and you will have to restart at the lodge. No matter what clothes you're wearing. So far we're doing okay. This I don't trust already. Well, let's try it. Yes, it worked. And here is our first polar bear. Five hundred and six kilograms. I'm going into trophy shot mode so you can see the fluffy fur. Let's look at it a bit from closer. Look at this fur. It's really well done. And here is our polar bear. Now I would like to get one on the mainland as well. So let's run along the shores. I think I should go back where I came from. This should be a safe way to go. And jump. So you really need to plan your shot, you need to plan your way out here.
this is a dead end. When you step in the water, even near the shore, you will start freezing and you will have to return to the lodge. There is no getting dry some way. You will have to return, so you have to be careful at the shore as well. And I think we made it back. Oop, now it happened. I might get out here. No, I can't. So this is <laughs> where I end up. Being, we're underwater, we're drowning, we're dead. So it's not too bad that this happened to us. So you can see what happens when you get too close to the shore, when you uh, drown, where you fall in the water. Uh, so I'm starting a new hunt here. Again, same area. The goal is to find the bears near the shore again or on the ice floats, shoot them with the bow. I would like to track one. I would like to get close to one, get attacked by one. Whatever we can do with this new animal. When doing the uh, release missions, I've spooked one bear and then I just went after it crouching and eventually I would catch up with it and sure enough it attacked me. So let's see if we can reconstruct this here. And I have spotted a bear head. There it is. I know it's a female, but other than that, not sure about the size, or I don't know about the size, don't know about the score. So I'm going to walk up to the bear. They're not very shy. I've been running. And when I stopped, I had a bear running at me. So earlier on. So it looks like I have to launch the battle out on the ocean. The bear is clearly in advantage there. It can swim. I cannot, as you have seen. There is no lure for the bear. Bear baiting will not work for the polar bears. The challenge is to get out here. Maybe this would have been my entry here. It's a good challenge, even even to get there. Let's run a bit, see what the bear does. Most animals will would run away now, except the bison maybe. If I can not get to you, maybe you can get to me. I'm right here. Okay, get off the ice now, please. Or 
get into attacking mode. <laughs> He's not sure what to do. There's another one. This one's a male. And this is the confused female. Well then, let's pay your husband a visit. Or your brother or your cousin. <laughs> we just have to get there. Come on, swim. Yes. Where do you go? Oh. Just wanted to go for a quick swim, I see. The female is still trotting around. And still out on the ice. Okay, now go straight, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Nice! Excellent. I'm here. I'm here. Now mole me. Okay. Because I want to heal myself. There he's standing. I know this is not fair. <laughs> I'm going to use all my first aid kits here or I'm fast so bring enough of those first aid kits there he is Maybe if we chase it, it's not going to go back swimming. He's going back offshore. Yeah. 
if I bow shoot it, it's not going to die immediately. Unless I'm really lucky with a hard shot or something. If it keeps going straight, it'll end up on the mainland. And it disappeared. <laughs> Where are you? So hopefully it came out of the water. That's good. Excellent. Okay, from here I will crouch or I will just push it back onto the ice floats. I could be mean and fast travel to the lodge and wait for it. <laughs> but no, I want to see how far it, it runs while spooked. So now hopefully we can catch up with it before it gets to the ice floats again. Oh, there he is. Trotting into the woods. Hopefully.
Just checking if there's any other bears around. But really I haven't seen them here. All the bears I've seen so far were just north of the lodge. Very simple to find on one hand, but um, kind of weird we don't see any other ones. At least I haven't. But then again, I haven't really spent too much time hunting them. This is just the most prominent place. It's very simple. You start at the lodge and oftentimes you will run into them. Sid Kadir calling. This place is also good for Sitka, for Arctic fox, and for snowshoe here. No bisons or moose up here. So he's running quite a bit. I will avoid the duel this time. Just try and get it. Of course, I'm totally exposed here. If he walks back towards me, he will see me before I even see him. And he will be running again. So I'm glad to finally arrive here at the woods. Arctic fox running. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, so this time I hit him while he was attacking. Don't know how well. But he was attacking from quite far actually, so these animals are dangerous. They seem to be an issue with the sound with the beer. I have this popping. Had this before already. So the bear seems to attack from quite far, which means if you walked around here, you don't even know it's there, you might be overrun by a bear. So, so far, I would say the most dangerous animal in the game by far. Other bears will not attack from this close, uh, from this far. They will have to be closer or they will run. But this guy here is really looking for you. <laughs> 
So the bear will die from the bow shot. But I think it's just a body shot. Not too many blood spots. So the problem with this is it's going to take quite a while. Unless I can hit it again. There's a Sitka fleeing. Wow, where did he go? Oh, he took a left after all. So it's possible that the Sitka was fleeing because of the beer. Not because of me. And from here I'll crouch again. And I should be catching up with the bear after another maybe 10 fleeing tracks. Now these guys could be in the way as I'm trying to catch up with this guy. I could end up spooking other animals. Oh, there he is again. That was a miss. This guy is crazy. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough with the bow. He attacks me. I didn't even see it. Somehow he saw me. And why didn't he kill me? Maybe because of the bow shot. I wasn't fast enough. I couldn't draw the bow fast enough. And he was gone already. So this guy is super dangerous. Let's count the fleeing tracks on the hunter made one, two, three, four, five. The sixth track that I read, he attacked me. So he's not going too far.
There's another blood spot, but I don't know. Oh, intestines. Now it tells me. Interesting. So I would really expect this guy to to weaken down. But of course, as long as there is 1% of life in the animal, it has 100% of attacking strength. And this is perfect for a bear ambush, but not for me, for him. <laughs> He's going to chomp on me again. Advantage for the bear. I like this. I think this is the first time when I can truly say the animal has an advantage here. Of course, I could pull out the pistol or the stambeko again and... But I hope there will be bow events, bow shooting competitions or some sort of events. Because this is thrilling as heck. This is really good. Not easy. I think I have some experience with the game. <laughs> but this is a new element. Quite interesting. possible that they can smell the player really well that's also possible that he didn't even have to see me so he knew I, w I was there this guy is playing hide and seek and now there is Sitka deer looking at me and spook him Actually, I want him to spook. I wanted him to get away from this scene. There he goes. Oh, the bear is dead. So he finally died from this one hit. From the bow shot, it was an intestine shot. Or is he still alive? Now he died. You can see my arrow. <laughs> Not well hit. The decals up here. So somewhere in the middle I must have hit him. Anyway, the bear is down. I've won the really interesting battle. Oh, I hit him twice. That's why. I hit him twice. The second time when he attacked, I must have hit the shoulder blade. And the intestines, which finally made him die. Alrighty, that is the polar bear. The polar bear, really interesting animal. Um, definitely worth trying out. There will be limited events where you can hunt this animal. And when this comes around, make sure you go and try it out. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Never got annoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.